latest on Major Hurricane Felicia, starting to weaken a little bit, but still a Category 4 storm, very powerful at that, at 15.7 degrees north, 128 degrees west, moving now towards the west-northwest, uh, actually turns more towards the west in the more recent frames there on that satellite picture. 140 miles per hour is the current wind speed and the pressure up slightly to 947 millibars, moving west-northwest last time uh, with the so a slight jog towards the west there but west-northwest is the general motion at 10 miles per hour currently the wind field uh, slightly larger than what it was yesterday with 50 nautical mile uh, radials towards the northwest and northeast right now though it's way out at sea 895 miles from Isla Clarion 1144 from Sorocoro 1795 from Hilo, Hawaii, 1889 from Kahului, and 1993 from Honolulu, so very far away from any significant landmass, and it will remain the case for its whole duration. And from here on in, we're expecting the storm will now start a weakening process, um, which has been long awaited uh, thanks to declining sea surface temperatures, uh, declining um, air, um, dry air intrusion and eventually a rise in uh, wind shear. Well here we are right now, National Hurricane Center down to 130 miles per hour, the uh, ADT satellite estimates down to around 125, so all in the same ballpark. There's the latest National Hurricane Center forecast track, so still leaning just slightly north of where it is right now in terms of its uh, latitudinal progress, uh, but mainly moving westwards and then uh, declining towards the west-southwest again as it weakens through Monday and Tuesday, and then eventually down to depression status on Thursday according to them, and a remnant low by Friday as it reaches a similar longitude to the Hawaiian Islands but uh, some models will show you shortly. Uh, there's nothing to be concerned about there. Here's what it's showing right now. The green areas are the tropical storm force winds. You can see tropical storm Guillermo behind it, a much larger tropical cyclone. And as you can see, Felicia goes into, um, you know, into the abyss there as it declines and off it goes, loses the greens of tropical storm intensity and barely traceable passing the Hawaiian Islands. Here's the rainfall profile. You can see there some areas near the storm right now probably getting on around seven inches of rainfall um, that's of course at sea and those numbers will of course decrease substantially as the storm's energy starts to exhaust itself as it weakens sea surface temperatures also have a part to play in that you can see how the oranges are a little bit more orange let's say near where the storms are right now but a cool little pool there ahead of Felicia and Guillermo as it gets a little bit further west temperatures dropping from around 26 or 27 as it is now to around 25 in the next two days if it was to continue westward. So here we are, it's reached the peak and it's now on the way down there, the models all agreeing with that weakening trend at varying rates. Uh, wind shear will start to rise by, uh, by the 20th which is Tuesday. Um, and then sea surface temperatures already dropping will drop further relative humidity looking around average uh, the track is in no doubt uh, it's pretty clear where this storm is going to go you can see on the bottom left there so this is the satellite presentation and you can see on the water vapor imagery here uh, just how moist the storm has been but it is entering an increasingly hostile environment with dry air there all the red areas which will really start to get in its way. Here's the uh, infrared imagery, just showing you how the storm has been progressing there. Um, you can quite clearly see that the cloud tops haven't been as high, the eye possibly shrinking and maybe getting a little bit weaker there as well. If necessary, we'll have another update on this storm probably around the same time tomorrow.